Hello everybody, thank you for joining me. Today is the anniversary of the publication in 1908 of the first edition of Scouting for Boys, Robert Baden-Powell's book which was the foundation of the scouting and guiding movement. Uh, and it uh, became enormously popular, uh, apparently in the 20th century, uh, only following the Bible, the Quran, and the thoughts of Chairman Mao in the number of copies published worldwide. Um, it was designed to particularly support young men uh, at a time when there was a lot of deprivation and Baden-Powell saw a lot of people, a lot of them hanging around street corners, bad parenting, smoking a lot, uh, with nothing much to do. And he wanted to turn these young men into good citizens. Uh, and this book, uh, sort of very anecdotal kind of um, style of writing, became enormously popular uh, and uh, led, led to, to, to the scouting movement providing for, for such young men uh, a way into good citizenship. It, uh, it, it includes um, hints as to how um, young men particularly should behave, um, and particularly they should look after themselves, they should look after their health, um, they need to breathe in lots of fresh air to make sure their blood was pure and have what he called uh, their daily rear, uh, you know, keep their bowels moving, in other words, because they needed their insides to be clean. That internal purity would lead to external morality. Uh, he thought that um, they should be prepared, of course, the motto of the scouting movement, down to the fact that the, the uniform contained a, a hat in which you could carry water, a shirt from which if you put two of them together you could make a, a stretcher, a scarf, which you could use as a sling. In other words, being prepared for him was not about the being prepared to defend yourself, but being on the lookout for ways in which you could be available to other people who needed your support, and particularly in the case of of the way the uniform was designed in, in, in a physical crisis, but uh, all sorts of ways, like Bob a Job Week. I remember my, my parents having to think of, of jobs for scouts to do as they came round in that week in the year, um, when the idea was they would go and offer to, to homes uh, to do any job that was required in exchange for a bob. Uh, this idea of helping others, this was cru crucial to the, the scouting movement. Uh, and and the idea that, that you, um, you... you tried to support and help people through what? Uh, a phrase that he used, coined from the Greek philosopher Epictetus, take the smooth handle, not the rough handle. Always find the easiest way through a problem if you're trying to support and help people. Um, don't necessarily do what's expedient, uh, what's to your advantage. Do and suggest and work for the solution to any problem which is going to be the easiest and the least hassle for everybody concerned. And use strategy, use your minds, he, he, he said, to, to work out how that could be. And he, of course, it was by strategy um, that he um, won the siege of Mafeking, which was what made him famous, uh, gave him kind of David Beckham-like status uh, and enabled his his book to be to be so widely known because of his his personal fame. So uh, I I I think it was primarily uh, a, a book of its era. But nevertheless, I think looking after ourselves, looking after our health, and and being on the lookout always, being ready to support and encourage others. Very simple ways of looking at life, but an encouragement to us today, and something which has helped many boys and subsequently girls in the guide movement over the decades since 1908.